Hey, it's Whitney here. I got this uh, fiberglass kit, and I know these fiberglass kits don't come with instructions, so I was going to do a little video on how I build these. And um, first of all, it's a 38 millimeter motor mount. Uh, that's too small. You have to change that out with a 54 millimeter motor mount. And some centering rings. So the first thing we do is to take everything and uh, I'll wash all the um, fiberglass parts and then wipe them down with some acetone to get all the mold release off of them. So that's what I'm going to do first. Next I mark my tube um, where I'm going to have my centering rings mount just above the fin slots and just below the slot there. Um, in my top centering ring here. So I have three centering rings on this build. Um, next, I'm going to take some 80 grit sandpaper and sand my bonding surfaces. Anywhere there's going to be epoxy um, going on to the fiberglass, I like to sand it to rough it up some to give it some mechanical bond because that's what kind of um, adhesion you're going to get. I've done all the sanding to my bonding surfaces. I just basically sanded, sanded the whole outside of the tube to give a good bonding surfaces because the fins are going to mount onto it as well as the centering rings um, across the motor mount. I also notched out um, a part on my top centering ring here. This is where the um, this is where the shock cord is going to pass through because um, it'll be mounted to the to the motor mount there. So I have a notch that I notched out of it. Let's see here. Yeah, like that. And uh, next I'm going to get some epoxy ready and start bonding. All ready for some epoxy now. I got a, uh, a built up with tape a dam because the rings are fitting a little loose on this one. And also made a little dam so the Epoxy doesn't run all the way down the tube. Um, the same with the second ring here. Um, so I'm just doing the top two rings. I'll do the bottom ring after the motor mounts in the rocket and the fins are done and I can do some internal fin fillets. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up epoxy around here. Um, then do epoxy around that one. Um, building up a little fillet. Today for epoxy, I'm using the uh, U.S. Composites Thick Resin with the Fast Hardener. It's a uh, um, four to one, so you mix uh, four parts of the resin to one part of the uh, hardener. I'm also adding some uh, milled fiberglass, and then I put a little cabosil in there to uh, make it hard. I make it the consistency of um, kind of close to toothpaste, but maybe not not a little bit more runny um you'll see when i have it mixed up here in a minute i use a little triple beam scale uh you can use a jewelry digital jewelry scale i just i've been using this scale for years and i'm used to it so um usually stick with what i'm used to all right this is a 20 gram batch you can see the, the thickness um just you know like I like it. I like it really nice and thick, so it stays where you put it. Okay, I bonded my top two rings. Um, as you can see, a little goes a long way. That's a 20 gram batch, and I still have eh, some buttons left in the bottom of the cup. I probably could have got away with maybe a 16 gram batch, or but you know. Poxy's not that expensive when you buy it in quantity, so I always like to mix a little more. Um, we're going to go ahead and let this dry for about an hour, and um, then we'll move on. <laughs> 